the only gamers. My name is Ongli, and welcome back to The Walking Dead. I'm a little bit sick, and I have a whole day today to play The Walking Dead, and I just want to play the game. Uh, I'm gonna be very tired. I laugh earlier, and my head just pounding like crazy. All right, let's just get started. There's no synopsis in the season, surprisingly, but. We're gonna keep playing, uh, recap last time, uh, AJ killed someone, so. <laughs> anyway. When I start an episode, right here? Okay, start an episode. Previously on The Walking Dead, AJ and I had been searching for a long time. Ooh. For some place we could call home. Oh, this is cool. Just when we thought we'd found a huge stash of food, it turned out to be a trap. That could have been the end. Whoa. But I woke up and found I'd been saved by a guy named Marlin. The leader of a community living inside an old boarding school. Sorry, man. Time killed you. It felt like a chance at having a home. A real one. We had to go back to the train station to see if any food survived the explosion. But someone else had the same idea. When AJ distracted him, I shoved him into a pack of walkers. I found Marlin and Brody in the basement that night, arguing about the man we'd seen. And I learned why Brody was so afraid. The man was part of a group of raiders they'd run into a year ago. Marlin traded Tennessee's older sisters to the raiders to keep himself safe. He attacked Brody and locked me in the basement with her. When she turned, I had to stop her. Marlin stole AJ's gun and tried to convince them I had murdered Brody. Violet backed me up. With everyone against him, the fight went out of Marlin. I told him he could stay, but he couldn't be our leader. But then... Marlin was dead, and AJ pulled the trigger. He remembered what I'd taught him. To always aim for the head. Oh my god, I really love this new style of recap. They made it so comic book-like. That is very cool. Man, that really makes me want to read the comic book itself. Because the comic book is way more diverse with a lot more characters. Uh, instead of just Clementine. Where's AJ? He not in his bed? Little buddy making you some coffee. <gasps> it was in the kitchen. Tin said that I can have some. I didn't steal it. Is it top of the morning coffee? Mmm. <sighs> yeah. I'm surprised you remember how to make it. We haven't had coffee in a long time. You put it in hot water. You're right. Thanks. <laughs> Last night. With Marlin? I heard Lewis and, and what he called me. Am I a murderer? No! Oh my god! Shit! We could get medicine from the nurse's office. He's dead. The kid blew his brains out. You shot him. He's dead. You're a murderer. You promised Marlin. You said you'd help him fix things. What the fuck did you teach this kid? Oh. Lewis called me a murderer. But 
but we're supposed to kill bad stuff. Monsters. Did I do it bad? I thought Marlin was bad. He killed Brody. He, he kept telling lies. Lewis was right. Sometimes people do bad things, like Marlin did. But when you shot him, he wasn't a threat to us anymore. If you kill someone when they're no longer threatening you, that's murder. What are we gonna do? Talks Marlin down, and then they fucking murdered him! Take AJ, go inside. Come on, let's go. Oh, just let them go back to the dorms? What happens the next time one of us does something this kid doesn't like? Should we expect a bullet too? That's not what happened. It's exactly what happened. It was over. The little Mr. Trigger Happy decided otherwise. Marlin started this. He killed Brody and almost got me too. AJ did what he had to do. What he had to? He didn't have to shoot Marlin in the fucking skull. It was over. Get it, Lewis. Just back off, okay? Back off? Seriously? Let's go. Clem? Clem? If I'm a murderer, am I gonna die too? What? No. Well, I think murderers are like monsters, and I know what happens to monsters. Nothing good. Nothing good at all. We can forgive them. Murderers, even some monsters, they get a second chance. Some monsters, not all. When bad people, like murderers, try to make it right, that's when other people forgive them. That sounds hard. It is. We're going to fix this, you and me. I'm going to help you atone. Atone? It means make up for what you did wrong. We'll make it all right with the others. <laughs> for God's sake, someone help me with this! <laughs> Save you from that car wreck, and you fucking murdered him? Get back, Mitch! Get back. Or what? You're gonna let him kill me too? Then who's next? A Sim? Willie? Sorry, man. <laughs> Screw both of you. Hey, what is it? You've killed a lot of people. You murdered your friend Lee, didn't you? What? You said he was handcuffed. He wasn't a threat. So... That means you murdered him. I killed him because I loved him. I didn't want him to suffer. How? He'd be dead. He would have turned. I didn't want that for him. He deserved better. I love you, Clem. Oh, I love you back. Hey. Hey, Ten. Violet said to come get you for the funeral. Really? We used to have them more. Then we stopped. Seems right, though. I brought you something. For me? I figured you'd be afraid, with everyone all upset. But you were brave last night. Like a firefighter. No. Firefighters are good. I'm a murderer. No, you're not. You gotta have a trial first. They decide that stuff in a courtroom. That's how it works. Er, worked. Before. Back then, there were all kinds of rules about who was innocent, who was guilty. It was complicated. Okay, find us the courthouse. What's that? That's where the trials happen. 
You appear before a judge. There are no more judges. I guess you're right. You sure you don't want your firefighter? You should keep him, because you're good like him. But maybe we could play with him later? Together? Sure. After the funeral. They buried them already. The vial started soon. See you out there. His audio sounds a little bit radio-like. This is gonna be hard. Everyone's going to be upset. We need to show them we care, okay? Okay. Oh my god, this is gonna be hard. Alright. I think that in situation like this, in your your first first <laughs> your first initial thought is that you might have some contempt or you might hate some characters for how they act towards a little kid like AJ. But let me tell you this. Uh what AJ did is definitely considered as murder. Oh my god, I'm trying to move Clementine to the screen. <laughs> Oh, don't make me scream. I'm gonna have a headache, dude, guys. I'm gonna have a headache. Okay. What AJ did, I think I think I did good by telling him the truth, but I think he he's putting himself down too much. Um, in a day and age where walkers are everywhere. Oh, give me that coffee. Mmm, yeah, top of the morning coffee. I never drank top of the morning coffee before. I don't know how to buy it. I don't even know if they ship it here in Southeast Asia. Um, ooh. Yeah. As I was saying, I think they, I think the, the, okay, it's obvious those guys are teenagers and the way they acted towards AJ is very normal, very human. <laughs> oh, excuse me. <laughs> it's very, very human. And, I don't blame them if they started blaming AJ like that, but I guess that it's very unreasonable of them to just blame a kid for being a murderer. Uh, that's, I don't think that's how uh, the, the actual law works. I don't know how the actual law works. Maybe uh, Law Mike can tell me about this. If a kid as young as AJ, I think AJ is six, surprisingly. He's six years old. And Clem is like around 16, 17. She's still a teenager. I don't know if there's a law for little kids, little six years, years old kid uh, for shooting someone dead. I don't think there's a law for that. Maybe there is, I don't know. Law Mike can explain about it. Uh, if someone could please ask Law Mike about it, maybe he could explain about it, I don't know. But I hope that at the end of the day, I, I hope that they could uh, not be so afraid of AJ. He's just a kid. He doesn't know better. And we're here. We're trying to help him know better. So I hope that the, the story doesn't make AJ such a little fucking brat. Because I remember watching Jack back then and I really just, I really dislike AJ a lot. And I was a kid back then too, so I don't know anything about anything. Um, I'm a, li a little bit older and a little bit wiser, so I can I can empathize how AJ would have felt. He's very direct with his approach, and usually uh, it would lead to very questionable reasons that he makes, and that's okay. All right, that's okay. AJ just he just needs to learn. He's just a little, 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 little buddy, a little child. Let me talk to AJ. Time to go. Soon. All right, let me just look around the room, I guess. Is there anything around here? I feel like this episode is gonna have some relics. So I might as well just find some relics to put on my trophy and stuff. <laughs> Still cool. <laughs> I don't know. It looks kind of weird to me. I'm not into skulls and stuff. Actually, I'm very much into skulls, but not like real skulls. I like pictures of skulls. I like skulls in my shirt. That's metal as shit. Actually, having an actual skull is even more metal.
<laughs> Cute. Yeah, I think that's pretty much it. Uh, what about this? They look good together. Do you think his is better? No, I like them both. Yeah. Clementine know how to say things. <laughs> At least these won't die. Oh my god, why would you say that? Clem! Why would you say that in front of AJ? Oh, poor AJ, he's gonna feel so bad. Oh. Alright. We are going to have a trial. Wow, it's so crazy. AJ is only a child and he doesn't know what the fuck laws are. Laws don't exist anymore. Well, like, rules and regulations definitely exist within a community of The Walking Dead. But laws just, nah, that, that's, I don't think that's a thing anymore. Like, people abandon each other so easily, I don't think that's even a law. That's so crazy. AJ. Boy. You're gonna have a trial. A trial is a, is a law thing. It's something that you have to be judged by. People will judge you. Ready? Oh, he's putting up a brave face. Oh, brave little man. Oh, no. He taught him to regret his actions. Oh, no. Well, that's good. Learning to regret what you did wrong helps you grow. Th that's my philosophy, at least. I think a lot of people would disagree with that. But that's, that's, that's how I grew up. I did a lot of stupid things. And a lot of those stupid things are not taught by anyone. I have to learn my lessons on my own. And I read... I, 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 oh, what's this? Yeah, okay, there's nothing here. And I regret a lot of my actions back when I was much, much, much younger. I still regret my actions now, to be honest. It's not like it will go away once you grow up, once you're an adult and everything. You're still gonna make mistakes, you're still gonna regret stuff. So it's good that you learn how to regret because that way you can just... Um... Okay, my wisdom just ran out. <laughs> that way, if you regret, you will learn. There we go. I just, that's, 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 that's as simple as I can say it. I can't believe that. Oh, it would be so weird if, uh, uh, like, if like a fucking corpse is just under the basement there, just to scare the players. Oh, that would be so weird. Is there anything? It's really nothing? Man, this is cool. I think if there's no like black lines all over the place, I think the game would look much, much more realistic because this game already looks very realistic. It looks so nice. Man, all these vegetations that's on the ground. That's so cool. This is exactly what it looks like in the countryside, too. I like this setting. The grass. Oh, no. AJ, no. Oh, he's going to feel so bad about himself. I did that. Come on. Well, you're not the only one who kills people. Clem also killed a lot of people. I think what... What AJ needs is some actual, like, real talk context. So he could at least learn something about his mistake. Oh. Oh, the poor dog! <laughs> oh, 
Oh, God. They're here. So what? They knew Brody, didn't they? Yeah, but Marlin... Just leave them alone. <sighs> Shit. Clem? What? <clears throat> Why do I people have funerals? Tim said they used to have them more. They died. But I don't get it. Well, to remember people we loved. They loved Marlin. Yeah, they did. She was real sweet. I made them all sad. Like if someone took you away. Does everyone get a funeral? People do. Some animals, too. Even monsters. Even monsters. Ten. You ready? Brody, you always said you wanted to go to the beach. So, I drew it for you. Oh. Marlin was... I can't. Not for Marlin. After what he did to the twins and Brody, I... You didn't even like Brody! You were always mean to her. I can't. Someone else do it. Bitch. Dude, don't. Seriously, Lewis? He was your best friend. Fuck you, you, man. Perfect. But you deserve better than to get gunned down by that kid. They just killed him like it was nothing. We all saw it. And no one stopped him. You're right, Mitch. Marlin didn't deserve what AJ did to him. I know what I did. I'm sorry. I know I'm a murderer. But I'm gonna, uh, uh... Atone. Yeah, atone it. Fuck, I can't listen to this. What I did was bad, and I'm gonna make it up to you. I promise. You don't have to make up shit. Marlin was a fucking murderer and a liar, and if we'd all asked more questions about Minnie and Sophie disappearing last year, none of this would have happened. She's got a point. Shut up! It wasn't Marlin's fault. Then whose fault was it? Whatever happened before, AJ shouldn't have killed Marlin. Yeah, he wasn't hurting anybody when I killed him. See what I mean? How can any of us trust these fucking people? What are you saying? I'm saying they gotta fucking go. Take a vote. Majority decides. They stay or they leave. Today. You ass. That does seem fair. Are you serious? It's bullshit. You're bullshit. Please, don't do this. I know you're angry, but You we... don't know shit! If you did, you would've stopped AJ. Like you stopped Marlin from killing Brody? Fucking hypocrite! A vote's the only way to settle this, or we'll be arguing forever. Fine. I guess we're fucking voting. Lewis needs to vote. Could you go get him? And try to talk to him. Come on, Rosie. Come here, girl. Aww. Poor dog. Could you guys go wait in the dorm? I'll come get you. Marlon was the closest thing that dog got for an owner, man. Please don't kick us out. Come on, let's go. And fuck you, Mitch. Just because I didn't talk to you that one time. That one fucking time I didn't talk to him. <laughs> and he's all up on my ass. Uh, again, very gross. That, uh, Are they replaying the intro? Ooh. Something is growing out of his mouth. Ooh. That's very cool, but gross. Are they replaying the intro? Is this like an anime intro? <laughs> oh my god. This is awesome. Yeah. Um, Mitch, fuck you. You were mean as shit. I, I get it. He's supposed to be mean. He's a teenager. He can't control his anger like that. No teenagers can. Like, if you get, you, you're gonna be a, a, a very real, real, real mature teenager to... Or, or a very understanding teenager to be to be able to control your emotions like that. 
So I can understand why he's so fucking mad about it. Very cool intro. Absolute cinema. <laughs> What are you doing? AJ? Stop that. <gasps> AJ, stop. You'll break your toe or something. <clears throat> Come here, sit down. No! It didn't work. I did what you said, and they didn't even care. I know that I was bad, but, but they don't want to let me fix it. AJ, breathe. Remember what we do when we're mad? Come on. I don't want to be loud, do you? What do we do when we're mad? We stop and think and, um... I'm still really, really mad. I know that I'm not supposed to get mad or sad because then I do dumb things. I understand. I'm angry too. Shit. This all sucks. Swear. Do as I say. Not as I do. We stop, we think, and we... Breathe. Breathe. Feel better? You're still mad, huh? And, uh... I think I'm sad, too. Oh, Poor little buddy. At least he's learning. That's good. I did what you told me to. I know. You're a good listener. I wanted to make them all feel better. It didn't work. Why'd you tell me to do that if it didn't work? We don't know that it didn't work. They might have voted for us to stay. I don't know. They seem pretty mad. Violet was on our side. Maybe she'll persuade the others. Yeah, maybe. I don't want to go. <sighs> I know you don't. I like knowing where we are all the time. The bed, the food. I like the other kids. Not all of them, but Tin and Louis and Violet. Couldn't you guys just go back to Richmond? We took the vote. You have to leave. Don't we get to vote? I vote that we stay. That's not how it works. Maybe it should be. You don't have to like it. Good, because I don't. Fine. I get it. We'll learn to live with your decision somehow. Seriously? That's it? You know this is fucking wrong, and you're not gonna fight it at all? What's the point? You've already decided. Yes, we have. So fucking stupid. You said you'd go along with it, if we voted fairly. It's bullshit. And you'd know it if you weren't so used to burying your head in the sand. Oh, I'm burying my head in the sand? Hate Marlin all you want, but you can't tell me AJ isn't dangerous too. Oh, you're dangerous. What the fuck are you talking about? Not cool, Lewis. We'll wait for you to pack up, then Lewis and I will escort you out past the safe zone. We'll make sure you get to the road safely. It's not a lot, but at least you won't die on the way. We could have happily dumped you outside the gates. Thanks for making sure that we... <laughs> no, don't thank them! It's, it's their fault we gotta leave. They're gonna get rid of us. 
Get him under control. AJ, breathe. <sighs> Where's Tin? I gotta say goodbye. He was really upset about the vote, and he's not talking to anybody. It's best to leave him alone when he's like this, but for the record, he wanted you to stay. Wait. Does AJ still have that gun? Oh, detective work? Hand it over. Is this necessary? Hell yes, it's necessary. I'm not walking out into the woods with him holding that thing. We already know he knows how to use it. Give it to him. Here, you can have it. Fuck. There. Happy? Can we go? <clears throat> What was that for? I really need to get give him AJ's gun. Oh man, they've already been here for like three, four days. And this is so ruthless. Oh my God, Lewis! I thought we were friends. I'm trying my best not to blame Lewis because I can understand where he's, he stands by, but... God damn it, Lewis! <laughs> I thought you were a friend! I hope AJ is fine without a his gun. Oh my god. Should I have given him the gun? No, we'll find out anyway. Will we get another car? Probably not. We got lucky before. So we're walking. My shoes are gonna break. Well, we'll have to hope they hold out. My feet are gonna bleed again. We'll tear up a shirt and tie them up if we have to. It's not so bad. I mean, you've done this before. Probably pretty good at it by now. Almost like going home for you guys. You've lived inside walls your whole life. You have no fucking idea what it's like out there. We're here. The road's that way. Anything you want to say before we go? I've said plenty. Thanks for trying to keep us. You're welcome. I wish you could stay. I didn't want this. Come on, let's just go. Give us a minute, would you? If you really feel that way, take us back. Don't let them kick us out. I can't, Clem. Half of them are convinced you're as bad as Marlin or worse. If you came back, someone else might get hurt. I, I can't risk it, I'm sorry. must be stupid. I can't leave you out here unarmed. Well, thanks. Let's get going. The sun will set soon. How do you know? I don't know. I can just feel it. How? There's this cold that settles on my skin. It happens right before a storm, too. I don't feel that. <laughs> you haven't been on the road as long as me. Klim? Hmm? 
Will we be okay? I thought we were done running from all the bad people. And the monsters. We'll find someplace new. Someplace better. I'll try not to mess it up. Hi. What the f Jesus Christ. Hey, that was fucking terrifying. Ooh. Come on out. I saw a couple of you on the road. How long do you think you can hide? Oh, shit. That's the man from the train station? Yes. I thought he died. You can survive a bite if you cut it off fast enough. Ugh. Stay here. Tough little bitch, aren't you? Just walk away and we'll let you go. <gasps> oh, crap. <laughs> oh. Damn it. No, don't. I wouldn't, boy. Any closer, your friend might get her head blown off. Abel. Good to see you again, Squirt. Hey, don't do that. Don't. I've seen these ones before. Fighters. Both of them. You'll like them. We're looking for a kid. Runs a community near here. Marlon. <sighs> He's dead. Well, shit. This can still work. How about it? You want to take us back to your school? Help us talk to your friends? <gasps> it's not like you have many other options. It's not my school. I don't live there. <sighs> I find that very hard to believe. Not a lot of kid communes around here. Don't! Hey, fuck you! Let him go, please! Sure, if you do like we ask. Otherwise, I'm happy to crack his head open. You ever seen old fruit explode after you throw it at something? That's just how it'll look. Uh, uh, time. <gasps> oh my god! Clementine, it's you? I... My name is Lily. You probably don't remember me. <gasps> Lily? I thought you died. I... came close. What the hell? Not now. What the fuck is this? I said, not now. <sighs> Lee isn't with you. So he's dead then. I'll never forget him leaving me on the side of the road to die. I don't blame him. I was clearly a threat to the group after I killed that guy. Doug. Lee should have left you behind, too. Might have lived longer if he did. Same thing will happen to you, if you repeat his mistakes. Your little boy there, you'll die protecting him. You may be able to keep this up a while longer, but eventually he'll slow you down. A walker you didn't spot. A bullet you couldn't dodge. A desperate cry for help that brings the herd. I don't think so. AJ knows how to handle himself. He's got spirit, I'll give you that. But you and I know that won't be enough. Fuck, we don't have time for all this. We've got history. Great. You know her, I know her. Point is, we've got a job to do. We can help you raise that boy, Clementine. But we need you to do something for us. <laughs> what? Help you kidnap a couple more kids? We don't need a couple. We need all of you. We'll take you back to the Delta to join our people. 
We have walls, we have working solar panels, and we grow our own food. All we need from you is to go back to your friends and convince them to come peacefully. No one will be harmed. I'm not Marlin. Here's what I'll do. I'll take the little squirt here right now. <clears throat> that way, I'm sure you'll play nice. Be smart about this, Clementine. It's an us or them kind of world, Clem. If you want to save your little one, you won't pick them. Run! Just run, just run, just run, just run. Just run! Yes. Amy, you're gonna come out, kids. You're the fucking murderer. I can't fucking believe he's alive. This guy. Okay. I was about to say something. Oh, no, no, no. Hi! Good. I was about to say something about Lily, but I'll keep my opinion for later. Oh, ah! oh no 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 no! Ew 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 ew! Yeah, yeah, yeah. Shit! Why? Okay, this is good. Are you serious? <sighs> Shit. Fuck, fuck. What? Oh, no, 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 no. Are you serious? No, no, no. <laughs> fuck off. Fuck off. Do not hurt this child. I don't see them. I don't see them. Where they at? Okay. Oh my god. I need help. Shit. Okay, I don't need help. I'm Clementine. I can do this. Fuck. You. And fuck. You. Yeah. Oh, there's more of them. Oh my god, are you serious? Walkers are dangerous in group. Use E to break them up. Fuck, 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 fuck. Use E? What do you mean use E? <gasps> okay, just run away, just run away. Yeah, 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 good, good, good. Nice, 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 nice. Yeah, that's what I need to do, that's what I need to do. Do not get close to little buddy. Ooh, just run, just run, just run. Okay, okay, this one. Fuck you. Hey, good, good, good. No, 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 Huh? Stop. Too what the? loud. Oh my god, that's so fucking weird. Ew. 
you. That's so smart. But that's so gross. Follow. Oh my god, that is not good. He has shrapnels. Shrapnels? He has like little pieces of metals inside of his belly. From the shotgun shells. There. Oh my god, are you fucking kidding me? In the direction of the arrow, oh my god. Good job, AJ. Oh, this is so gross. Well, at least you have a scar like Clem now. Oh, not a very friendly scar though. Just breathe. Put your hands there. Stop the bleeding. It's okay, AJ. I'm just gonna pass you off. It's enough for now. With duct tape? Ooh. Oh, easy, easy. Where's our stuff? My gun. We lost it, buddy. Lewis and Violet ran. They're safe. Yeah, probably. It sucks. I know. That's so scary. Getting pierced by shrapnels and getting sick afterwards because your your immunity is too weak. I didn't mean to endanger you. The walkers were sent to help you. You sent the walkers? Was part of a group. Call themselves whisperers. They've learned to live in herds, among walkers. Move among them. Sometimes guide them. Why are you alone, if you were part of a group? They attacked a community, saw the carnage. Didn't want to be part of it. Oh, does it hurt? Hungry. Eat. Both of you. Uh, thanks. Thank you. Do you have a name? Been a while. Since? I've said it. Your name has been a while? James. Why did you help us, James? 
And the people who attacked you. What do you know about them? I know they steal kids. They took two last year. A common practice for them. They're at war up north. Their entire community against another. It's why they take people. To make them fight. Train them. Use them. You would join their war. That's horrible. Yes. That's why I helped you. That's military. <laughs> Thank you. Clem? Wait. Throw it. Distract him. Works just as well, and nobody gets hurt. Not us. Not him. Thank you. Oh, now we're getting to the most trickiest situation of the story. Safe. It was difficult to send the herd in to save you. I didn't want them to die. Very altruistic of you. So, James, do you just hang around in the woods, saving random people? After I left my group, I wandered. First time alone, ever. Saw war everywhere. First against walkers, then against each other. Hoped it would be better here. Where are you from? Here? Or somewhere far away? Georgia. Long way from home. It feels like forever ago. It was. So, where are you from? Washington. The city or the state? The city. Dad ran a food truck. I helped. You've got a fever. His wound will need proper cleaning and medicine. If you're lucky enough to have any. The school has medicine, but I don't think they'll share it. That's why those people attacked you, isn't it? To get to that school. They'll destroy whatever they find. Bring more guns, more fighters, take everyone inside. They won't be able to fight them off. You need medicine. You have to go back, or you'll lose him. Yeah. I'll go back. Convince them to help AJ. They'll take us back once they see him. They wouldn't turn AJ away. You hope? I'll help you get back. Past the walkers. A few more hours and we'll go. That's a few hours for you to sleep. <sighs> I'll stay awake. You don't have to. Sleep. I'll keep watch. <sighs> okay, I will. What about you? Don't need it. Not tonight. Rest well. Good night. Good 
Oh my god, a very interesting character in such a horrific world. <laughs> and also, that's very gross, dude. That's so gross. Is he awake? Yeah, he's so hot. I can carry him. You're exhausted. No, I've got him. Yeah, good. Can I just stand here and then just say what I want to say? Okay, I, okay. <laughs> hopefully he doesn't rush me. Or maybe, and hopefully the game doesn't like... Okay, he's just standing there. Alright, uh, a few things I want to say. I already knew that Lily is going to be coming back. I, don't, I just didn't know which episode. I'm very surprised they did it on the second episode. Um, Lily is a very... I don't know, I just don't like her. She's such a controversial character for me. Uh, we did not fucking like her in the slightest bit in season one. Um, I... That's what that's what worries me the most because I knew that Lily is gonna come back in season four, but I still try to dump her in season one by Lee, and I don't think she fucking cares. That's that's the thing that I don't like her the most. If we decide to help her, if we, if we decide to give her another chance, the same way that Clem is teaching uh, AJ to to have to to to, to give. To understand that you can have a second chance and all that but I think that Lily is a very special case where it, it just doesn't apply to her uh, you can tell that she is absolutely fucking crazy who in the hell shoots a gun at a kid all right that's already a no-no that's already a huge huge red flag like that one short video on YouTube of the guy looking at relationship of other couples and just holding flags and just waving around. This is a huge red flags. And another thing I want to say is about James. James, I don't remember him like at all. I don't remember a single thing about James, but I do know that in the end, a lot of people will die and I think he might die. I'm not sure. It's not a spoiler, okay? I'm just speculating. I don't, I just remember like a few little bits, like the main points, like Clem, what happens, what's gonna happen to Clem on the last episode, and what happens to everyone else on the last episode, but in the end, just like any other seasons, a lot of people are gonna die, so it's not like, it's not surprising at all, and I think James is gonna die at some point, he's a very interesting character, he's very altruistic, uh, despite the walkers being like, you know, they're monsters. They're bad. They, 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 they're gonna eat you. They're gonna gut you out, and they're, just, they're gonna drink, drink your 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 blood or something. He still thinks that. I think his mentality is that he still thinks walkers are good, and they deserve a good rest. They deserve to be leave to be to be left alone, and that's a very fucking dumb ass idea. He's gonna get so many people killed with that kind of mentality. Realistically speaking, he's gonna get people killed. But again, it's a very he's a very noble character, which really adds to the whole thing. Like, should you kill walkers? Should, should you forgive walkers or, or, or whatever? We'll see how it goes. Uh, hurts. Hang on, we're almost there. Violet! Lewis! They came back! Look, you live out there alone, right? You could stay with us. Not ready. Oh, he don't like that. He don't like hostility towards walkers. I 
can't keep carrying you. We'll be inside soon. Rest now. Shit. Is he... Uh... He's alive. He was shot. He's got a fever. Come on, let's get him inside. I can't. It's okay, buddy. I got you. See? He's just a kid like any other kid. Come on, Lewis. You're gonna be so judgy and so... Feel so danger around here. Let me see. I have what I need upstairs. Come on. We got the shrapnel out of him. We? It's a long story. He's running a fever. Body's trying to fight infection, poor little guy. Ruby and Lewis will take care of him. You come with me. We can talk in the office. Clem? Shh. You just try to rest, okay? We're gonna fix you right up. Clem! AJ, listen to Ruby, okay? She'll look after you. Come on, what do we do when we're scared? When fear starts to get the upper hand. <laughs> I like this one. We say- You said I can't swear. <sighs> we can make an exception. What do we do? We say- We say fuck off to fear. <laughs> I'm good now. Clementine, please. We need to talk. Oh my god, someone is doing construction outside of my house. Jesus fucking Christ. What happened out in the woods? I saw they had you pinned and I... Shit, I got so crazy. When I heard you call for help, I didn't even think. I wanted to help you, but when you told us to run, I had to trust you. Thank you for protecting us. It was really brave. I really thought you were dead, Clem. It's just everything is so fucked right now, you know? Everyone is scared, Clem. It's really good to see you again. It's good to see you too. Just wish Mitch and the others felt the same. Lewis and I told them what happened in the woods. That woman who attacked you, I... Lily. So you do know her. We were wondering. Who the hell is she? I mean, I know you're not like with her group, but the others don't like the coincidence. Her showing up right after you? I mean, she's horrible. She always has been. Her dad was a racist asshole, and she defended everything he did. Oh. Great. As if we didn't have more than enough dickheads already. Uh... She murdered someone in our group. Gunned them down during an argument. A guy named Doug. He was really sweet. Protected the group. It was right at the start. I haven't seen Lily since. I believe you. But? There's something else. Lily said someone was with you at the gates. James. He saved me and AJ, let us stay in his camp for the night. But why did you bring him here? You led him right to us. I mean, he's a stranger, Clem. Running into those two in the woods, it proved we can't trust anybody. And you don't have to worry about James. We can trust him. Willie said he was wearing, I don't know, animal skins or something. He was wearing walker skin. That's how he gets past herds. He can guide them, too. <sighs> wow. Okay. I wouldn't have brought him here if I thought he was a threat. It's not that I don't trust you. I'm just worried about the others and what they might do. 
They didn't even get a chance to mourn Brody and Marlin before these child-snatching assholes showed up. And then you two come back after we thought you were dead. Now they're confused and no one knows how to feel about AJ. Violet, AJ is the least of their worries. I know, but everything is such a mess. They're scared and angry and they're looking for someone to blame. I mean, they kicked you out. How am I supposed to make them change their minds about you? It was decided. Five to three against. I know it feels like it shouldn't matter, but they were afraid of you. Both of you. You're sitting in Marlin's chair, aren't you? You're their leader now. They'll listen to you. They don't, though. They only listen when they want to. Well, they'll have to start if they want to survive what's coming. James told me what Lily and Abel will do next. He said they'll get more people and guns and come attack us. Take everyone here. How the hell would he know? He's watched them for a while. They're at war with another community. They take people to fight for them. Is that what happened to Minnie and Sophie? They turn them into soldiers? Yeah, it'll happen to us too if we don't stop them. Minnie didn't even like killing walkers. Look at this place. It's a fortress. With a little work, we could make this place really hard to attack. Do you actually know how to do that? Yeah, I was part of a siege once in a town called Richmond. Here, let me show you. Oh, it's actually on the map? Plan your defense. Uh... Okay... Um... this... We've got good strong walls. We need to make them hard to climb over, so the raiders have to come in through the gates. We used to keep barbed wire in the greenhouse. What's the point of dividing the courtyard? I don't get this. What does that mean? I think this is better. <laughs> Home alone style. This is where we should make our stand. There's only one way in, the front, and then there's the big central staircase. If we rig that path with traps, we can pull back here. Luring in our attackers. I like it. Oh, so we have to do all of them, okay. The courtyard's pretty wide open, not a lot of cover. We should flip the picnic tables, narrow down the pathways through it, so we'll know which way they're coming. At the very least, it'll give us protection if they get past these walls. Ah. Ooh, that's another one. Well, you guys don't use the greenhouse anymore, do you? No, we used to. Then we lost someone out there. Walkers overran the place and Marlin wouldn't let us go back. <laughs> Safe zone. We need to get that barbed wire so they can't climb the walls. I'll go. Are you sure? It's gonna be swarming with walkers by now. Okay, what the hell's going on? Willie told me she was back, but I was like, no way. Violet wouldn't just go against what we all decided. Shh, would you keep it down? The little boy's asleep. His fever's already going down, Clem. He's gonna be okay. Great. We're just giving them our medicine, too? Oh, fuck Mitch, you. Mitch, those raiders are getting ready to attack the school. We need Clem's help. Like hell we do. For all we know, she's one of them. She's not. If you saw their leader's boot on Clem's neck, you'd know that. Use your head, Mitch. You saw AJ on your way in. If I was with the Raiders, why would they have hurt him like that? How do I know? Maybe he shot one of their friends. Mitch! Clem's going to the greenhouse to find barbed wire and anything else she thinks we need for the fight, and you're going to help her. Uh, no, I'm not. Yes, you are. It's too dangerous for her to go by herself, and you're good in a fight. I can go too. You know, to keep the peace. Fuck, Vi. Since when are you the one making the calls? <gasps> Since no one else stepped the fuck up. These two will meet you at the gate, and you can head to the greenhouse once I've explained the situation.
See you there. I'm so sorry, little dude. Please be okay. I... Man, oh my god. Paul Lewis, he's trying to help, but he's so conflicted. Also, fuck Mitch. What an ass. Guess I didn't realize how long it's been. How much it's changed. Ah, uh, this ain't budging. You gonna stand there sulking all day? Or you gonna do something useful? Well, we need that barbed wire. There must be another way in. Collectibles can be found in the world. Ooh. I'm sorry, guys. <laughs> My gamer instincts is telling me to get those items. Oh, found it. Wild boar. Not too many in these parts, but they were more common where I grew up. I used to hunt them with my old man when I was little. They make terrible noises when they die. I like it. It'll look good on my wall. Uh, wait, are we welcome back already? <laughs> yeah, boars, when they die, they make like that kind of noise. Okay, not that kind of noise. I'm, my voice is not high pitch enough to do that uh, weird noise. Actually, wait. There's a video of this guy who's doing like a a, a, a boar call competition. Was it? Is a pig call competition, and a boar is technically a pig. So, <laughs> I always wanted to do that on my videos. Yeah, it's a good chance. To do it. Yeah. Also, Ruby, thanks for you know, thanks for helping out AJ. You're pretty cool. You know that? We're glad to have a medic. You're pretty cool. Why are you not looking at me? Ruby, look at me. Okay, she's looking at me. Are you okay? It's been so long since I was here. I used to love this place. But it's so overgrown. I'll be fine. Let's just find a way in. Man. Kids, teenagers, and their... Unwillingness to show off their emotion just to oh wait 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 I just want to check out here why is it so empty and blank there's nothing out here is this like a separate area is the garden a separate area Exxon Academy um, Thomas and Alexander Smith Research, 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 <laughs> research center. Good God, I'm slowly turning. I'm slowly turning to Markiplier by the minute, by the days, by the hours. Hello, everybody. My name is Markiplier. <laughs> I can't see shit. Well, there's too much condensation on the inside. Condensation? That's a big word for you. Shut up. No. Oh my god, Mitch! I can't believe it. This guy's a fucking egghead. And he's an angry egghead too. The worst combination that you can ever see in, in a kid. An egghead is someone who's smart. Mitch is probably a smart one, but he's probably has like anger issues, which is why the smart doesn't translate well. What do you want? Uh, nothing. You're only here because we're desperate, you know, so don't get comfy. If we survive these raiders, you and I are gonna have words. Let's survive first. I... Fuck. I take back what I said. Fuck you, man. 
Jesus Christ. Look, I'm giving y'all the benefit of the doubt. I'm trying not to blame anyone, just like a bunch of fucking kids. Just like a bunch of fucking kids! I don't know if you hear me! A bunch of fucking kids! I just scream his face. Try not to blame everyone, just like a bunch of fucking kids. Uh, things are getting very tricky, and I feel like Mitch is gonna get us killed. Either that, or he's gonna get himself killed because of his stupid anger issues. I get that a lot of people have like different um, ways to express their disappointment. A lot of others are understanding, and a lot of others are angry. A lot of a lot of a lot of a lot a lot a lot a lot a lot of others are scared. They just want to be safe, and I get that. But Jesus Christ, his attitude is like, what did he said earlier? Uh, okay, okay, I don't even remember the exact words that he said, but that's the kind of attitude that I hear from him. It's just constant. What am I? What are you? That window. I bet we can get in there. Good spot. Mitch, come here and give me a boost. Wait. Make her go first. We send the one we don't mind losing. That's an ugly thing to say. Vi says we need her help, right? She shouldn't mind sticking her neck out. I'll go first. I don't mind. Figured you'd fight it. Thanks, Clem. Holler if one grabs you. Otherwise, we'll come as soon as you give the all clear. I guess we'll know when the door opens. Man, fuck you, Mitch. You're like the worst kind of person to hang around out. Mitch is the type of person where he's such a piece of shit now that he's gonna have such a big glow up. But unfortunately, with his attitude like that and without the environment that he needs to glow, to, to glow, to glow up and to grow up, he's just gonna keep acting like that. Oh god, there's definitely gonna be walkers around. Oh shit. Oh my god, that noise! Run, 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 yeah! How the fuck did you get here so fast? Oh my god, the noise from... Oh god! Shit, 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 shit! <laughs> Ew. Not bad. Oh, look. Wild ginger. Eastern prickly pear. Jerusalem artichoke. False Solomon seal. Let's find that barbed wire and anything else that might be useful. Oh, okay. <laughs> I can move now. Um, very interesting. How do you know the names of all of these things? False, whatever the fuck that is. Uh, sunflowers, uh, wow, G oh, they <laughs> it's fucking, there's names, like put it there. Oh my god, it's a boy with a name there. Jer Jerusalem Artichokes? Is that how you say it? Oh my god. I thought you were some kind of genius. I thought you knew the name of the plants without like 
without a book or without Google or something. <laughs> There's literally a fucking board right there just to, just saying the name of the plant. Find something? Yep, maybe useful. Got a got a plant shovel. A trowel. Oh. I didn't know it has the name. Okay, that was cool. Got a trowel. Yoink. That's mine now. Yeah, good old memories with Kenny. <laughs> Ooh. Could be a weapon. Or use it to dig a grave. You weren't there when we dug the holes for Marlin and Brody. We had to use cups and bowls. Took forever. Oh my god, I didn't even think about that. Crazy. And also... Wait. Are you that fucking petty? Are you that just that fucking petty? Look at him. He's acting like an ass. Stop doing that. Yes! Dibs! Okay. Alright, that was a very useless interaction. Did you find anything? What do you think? Okay, just asking. You know, the barbed wire idea is smart, I'll give you that. Those assholes try and climb our walls, they'll tear their guts out. I kinda like to see that. I think some of- I think something about you that really... Really gets on my nerve. I don't know why, he just reminds me of myself when I was a lot younger. But, like... Exactly the same. He's not even, like, way worse. It's exactly the same. That, which is why I feel like I'm cringing up inside. Oh, you're not gonna use a lawnmower? It could be useful. Yeah, I'm gonna talk to Ruby. You seem happy. You can only eat the same bland rabbit stew so many times before you go crazy. These herbs are gonna do wonders for morale. You wait and see. Ooh. Okay, cool. Some mushrooms are edible. Probably. <laughs> you have collected mysterious mushroom probably not edible are you serious i can eat this is it gonna affect the story i'm trying it mm. <coughs> <Ew. sighs> what this was for science sure clem same thing that you did with the salt lake right it's for science Oh my god, I don't like the shift E. Barbed wire. A lot of it too. That should keep the raiders from climbing our walls. Hey, we can use these. For what? We can make bombs out of these. Bombs? Are you serious? Totally. It's the kind of stuff I made back home. He used to blow shit up. That's why he's a troubled youth. Guilty. I just need some propane and something to create a spark. And we'll have ourselves a nice little homemade explosive. Oh my god. I fucking completely forgot that these guys are troubled youth. I completely forgot. No wonder you're acting like a fucking piece of shit. Okay. I shouldn't be so harsh. For troubled youth. Usually troubled youth are not really that troubled. Like. It's just. It's just in their nature. It's not even trouble. I'm curious. You do not look like a troubled youth. Ruby. Ruby? Rudy? I already forgot your name. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Uncover lap door. Wait, wait, wait. I want to discover other things. 
Is there any other things around here? Any collectibles? Anything on the ground? Really? Can I just go out? God, are you serious? I, I, bruh. There's a brick here. Can't do anything. I just, I guess I just have to uncover the lab. If I remember right, there's a science lab through that door. Maybe there's propane in there. Come on, help me move this thing. Totally not a troubled youth. Totally very scientifically smart. Okay, let's see what's inside. Bruh. Serious. Rose, what's going on? You all right? We had a scare. That's all. Oh no! What? Who was she? Miss Martin, our nurse at the school. She stayed when all the others left. God, she looks. Ooh. You can barely recognize her. She's just, just like all the others. I'm sorry, Ruby. I, I just wish I could make her look like she used to. One day, we came out looking for food. Walkers attacked us. Thought we could fight them off, but there were just... There were so many. Ms. Martin told us to run. So we did. She taught me how to patch people up. Stitching, local anesthetics, painkillers, fever reducers. I don't think I can. I'll take care of her. Would you? I'm sorry. Again, how are you a troubled youth? I can understand if it comes from Mitch, but Ruby's not a troubled youth. Ooh. Are you okay? Yeah. Just need a minute. Come on, guys. Help me find that propane and we can get out of here. Hold on. Give me a minute. Let me turn to here. Let me just walk behind this guy. And let me just... Why are you such a sin-sensitive fuck? All right. You okay? Ms. Martin meant a lot to you, huh? She was the only one who stayed. She saw us for what we were. A bunch of kids who no one wanted. She loved us when nobody else did. Like, really loved us. Yeah, I've known people like that. I guess everyone has. Aw, poor Ruby. And also, very scary and very gross. Ugh, looks like piss. Dare you to drink it? Not in a million years. Wimp. I dare you to drink it. I ain't drinking that. Uh, Mitch, is this useful? Fucking A. I was hoping there'd be one of those. That's an igniter. We can use it to create a spark. Now we just have to find propane. We can blast those motherfuckers to hell. I have never seen that device before. 
again, uh, there's honestly there's a lot of things in here that I, I have never seen before. I've seen these tubes, but I don't think I've ever seen an igniter. Ooh, oh, these are cool. Huh? Clam, that thing is gonna bite your ass. What? <laughs> Why did you do that? Dude, you're gonna give me a headache. Why? I have not learned chemistry in a long ass while. Oh my god, there's AG. Um, AG, is that copper? I don't remember. Is it either copper or gold? Yeah, I don't remember. H2O2? Water? H2... Is that C? Yeah, that's a C. H2C. CH. Uh, to the CH3. Man, I haven't seen these in, like, years. Is even a str... Oh my god, there's a formula up there. I can't tell. N equals small m divided by big M. <laughs> Let's hope there's gas in it. But that looks like a bomb. Oh god. Yeah, perfect. Here. Good find. Now we have everything we need. We should get back and tell the others. We have to bury Ms. Martin first. Bury her? Why bother? It's a walker. Help me drag it out back. We can burn it. No. Ms. Martin's the reason we're all alive. And? She deserves a proper burial here. Next to the greenhouse she loved. That way the others won't have to see her like this. She's been dead for years. There's no point. She deserves a real burial. I'll help you bury her. It's the right thing to do for someone you cared about. Thank you so much. It's not a her. It's a walker. Fine, whatever. I'm not wasting my energy on that thing. All right, what an ass. Come on, man. You got to be an ass like that. I'll put a stone in the graveyard, back at the school. But Ms. Martin loved this place. She'll be happy here. I'll make sure everyone knows you helped me. That you've got a, a good heart under all that muck. <laughs> hey. <laughs> Think it'll be enough? Hopefully. And it means Lily and her people won't be able to climb the walls. They'll have to come through the gates. We can plan for that. Straight into a fiery explosion of death. Assholes won't know what hit them. Clem, you are hella strong for carrying that bag. That bag is much heavier than AJ, by the way. I've carried a lot of things <laughs> before. I know how heavy they are. Brought you these. I noticed his shirt got messed up when, you know. Where did you get those? They were tens back when he got here. Should be about AJ's size. How's he doing? Better. His fever's down. Thank you for carrying him in. No problem. So we've got a greenhouse again and bombs. Mitch's idea. I figured. Violet says we'll start getting this place ready in the morning. Good. They all seem okay with letting you stay. For now, anyway. While we get ready to fight. Yeah, I'm glad. 
All I've wanted is for them to forgive us. I said they're fine with you being here, at least till the Raiders are gone. That doesn't mean they all like you again. Everyone else is okay with us staying. What about you? It's fine. Well, he gets better. And after that? I don't know, Clementine. Clem? Hey, kiddo. How do you feel? Better. Still hurts. I know. Hi, Louis. Hey, little dude. I missed you. Are we friends again? Just get some sleep, okay? Damn it, Louis. Louis? Why are you hesitating? I really missed you. Missed you too. Good night. Okay, that's good progress. I'm not mad at him anymore. Are you? He helped carry me, and he was by my bunk when Ruby gave me stuff. AJ, I was never mad at him. I understand why he acted that way, why he wanted us gone. <sighs> me too. Let's get a look at the shirts Lewis brought you. Then we'll sleep. It's been a long day. Yeah. James was nice, but I don't like sleeping on the ground. Me neither. I sneezed earlier. Uh, it's probably cut out. <laughs> Dude, how the fuck did you not get bitten by that? Alright, let me place my stuff first. <laughs> I wonder how long it'll last. Oh, it will last a long ass time. Nice. Very cool. That's a weird plant. It's a fungus. A fungus? Doesn't look fun. <laughs> That's so cute. Pretty cool. Yeah, it's pretty cool. That plant looks scary. Oh, it is. It's a fly trap. It eats bugs. A plant can eat bugs? <laughs> That's so, so awesome. Oh my god, I should get a... I wonder if they sell it here where I live. I want to buy a fly trap. There's so many fucking mosquitoes around. I just want them to eat mosquitoes if they can. Can fly traps eat mosquitoes? I'd have to Google that day later. Anything around here? What's this? Open door? Why? Oh. Science dog shirt. Disco bruh. Hey, look! It's Disco Broccoli and his friend. I wish you could have seen this cartoon. Me too. <laughs> hey, this one's pretty cool. It looks like Marlin's jacket. Oh, yeah. But it would still look good on you. Uh, I don't think it's a good idea to wear that. How about this one? It looks like Tin's boots. Oh yeah, I think it's the same character. Cool. Oh god. I feel like whatever I wear is gonna affect the story. I feel like if, if you wear like this shirt, then Tin is gonna be like, Oh, I really like this cartoon. Or if you wear this shirt, and everyone is gonna look at AJ is like, Can't believe you have the guts to wear the fucking shirt. You're a fucking kid, and then you wear the fucking shirt that you killed the fucking guy. <laughs> oh, shit like that. And I feel like if you wear this shirt, then someone is gonna miss AJ. Oh no, someone is gonna look at AJ and is gonna miss someone. I'm just gonna choose this one because AJ likes this one the most. Hmm, this one will work. You can put it on when you feel better, okay? Yeah. Time for sleep. I can't sleep with the light. I'll blow it out in a second. Can I open door? It said I can open door earlier. Huh? What? What's the point of that option? 
Okay, let's just sleep. Good night. Sleep tight. Don't let a walker bite. And if it tries... <sighs> bang. Are you worried about him, Clem? You're doing a great job, Clem. Can't sleep. No. Oh. Oh, definitely can't sleep. Huh? It's already morning. Ah, oh, cool. Ah, oh, cool. A time lapse. He changes the shit. Wow! AJ slept there for two weeks? Oh, dang, buddy! Am I still dreaming? Uh, I don't think I'm still dreaming. I feel like I'm still dreaming. What the fuck? Yep, definitely dreaming. This is a very odd fever dream. <laughs> what am I saying? All fever dreams are odd. Hey, Jay. Ooh. Dude, please don't do this. Horses. Why it gotta be horses? Oh my god. What the hell is going on? Was that AJ? AJ. about what happened at the ranch. I'll be okay. Just give me a minute. Hey, what do you have there? Did you have a bad dream too? You've been having them a lot lately. I feel safer like this, not sleeping. I want to stay up forever. I probably could. Like 18 days, if I tried hard. We're safe here, AJ. 
It doesn't feel like it. You used to think so. Ah. Here, let me help you back to bed. No. You don't have to keep checking on me. You always say, be tough. So I am. You say, be strong. And I will. All the time. You're the toughest boy I know. Probably the toughest boy in the whole world. I'm not as tough as you. Well, no one's as tough as me. <laughs> I'm sorry you had to do all the hard work. To atone me. I'm gonna help you more, so you don't have to do everything. Where are you going? On patrol. Patrol? For danger. Bad people. Monsters. Whatever you have nightmares about. What if you stayed here instead? If you go back to sleep, I'll stay awake and make sure no more bad dreams come. You can't do that. You're not magic. <laughs> How do you know? Maybe I have magic and never told you. <laughs> no, you don't. You almost believe it. What is it? Can I... Could I maybe sleep in your bed? Like I did when I was little? Yeah. Come on up. I I'm not scared. Just tired. Makes sense to me. Think you need that? AJ? What? You're still little. Yeah, I know. Oh, that's so cute. Ooh, okay, that's not cute. <sighs> you ready to work today, kiddo? Bad dreams always make me more tired. Me too. I slept better in your bed. <laughs> it's my turn to be lookout. I have other stuff I need to do. What stuff? Nothing. It's just... It's important. God damn it, Lewis. Take this seriously for once in your life. I've been taking this seriously for fucking days. Almost two weeks. So has everyone. Get over yourself. Hey. I thought Lily and Abel would show up days ago. I wonder why they're holding off. Don't know. All I wanted was more time to prepare, but now this waiting sucks and everyone's on edge. Need my help? Yeah, actually. Could you check on everyone and make sure they're doing shit right? Sure, I'm on it. Thanks, Clem. I should go board up the back hallway, since Lewis isn't gonna do it. Oh my god. Now that I... Remember it. Now that I take a, 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 a big look. I don't know if I have said this before. I feel like I've said this before. But I didn't say it properly. Vi looks like Rough Nut from How to Train Your Dragons. I think I've said this before. I feel a little bit of deja vu. Maybe I haven't said I don't <laughs> I don't remember. I haven't edited my videos yet. Maybe I have said it before, but she does look a lot like Rough Nut from How to Train Your Dragons. Ugh. Oh my god, that's so gross. Hmm. Place looks ready for a war. Uh, okay. I was here, and then I click, and then I was there. Huh? Pretty clear message. Are we having, like, 
a parade. What's it called? Uh, no, it's not called a parade. Are we having a... Uh, I can't think of the word! Like the thing that people do that they hold up the signs and they just... Oh! A protest! <laughs> Are we having a protest? Fuck you, Lily! Fuck you, Abel! Okay, before I do anything, I want to say a little bit uh, real quick. Uh, I think that I want to give a chance to Lily. Despite her being a fucking ass, I still want to give a chance to see if Lily will, uh, I don't know, uh, I can't find the words for it, to see if she would redeem herself. Because I, I don't want to kill Lily, but at the same time, I know that a lot of people will want to kill Lily, but again, I don't want to do that because I'm giving a good examples to AJ and you know I, I'm just trying not to make things worse so whatever the case is if I decide to kill Lily then it's gonna be on my hands all right it's not gonna be on AJ's hand because I don't want him to kill anyone anymore uh, I'll be the one killing all right anyway let's get to the story Shit. What's going on? In a few weeks, or days, or hours, the raiders will be here. Burn down our place and steal or kill us. And then it won't matter how much I sucked at this. The raiders aren't gonna burn anything or steal anybody. We'll stop it. You sound like Marlin. I mean, not about fighting, but when he was trying to cheer us all up. For years, I sat around making stupid jokes, playing stupid games. While my best friend was left with all the responsibility, all the tough calls, all the sleepless nights, and eventually, a bullet in the head. And I didn't do a damn thing about it. And then when you tried to tell us what he was really like, and AJ shot him, I blamed you. Both of you. If I could take it back, I would. I knew that the day you got back, I, I still do. I forgive you. I understand why you did it. I'm not angry. He was my best friend, almost like my brother, but the things he did, they were fucked up. Here, you take it. Are you sure? I mean, it's Marlin's. Yeah, it was. And he used it to defend the school before... before he stopped. Go ahead. Try it. In that direction, please. <laughs> I'm not gonna hit you. And just so you know, I'm totally laughing out loud when you miss. Alright, watch this. I can do this. Uh, hold and then press the fire. Oh, I can definitely do this. Okay. Wait. Wait. Bling. 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 Hold on. Kachling. Damn. Remind me to never piss you off while I'm standing at a moderate distance with a big red circle painted on my chest. You want to come back and practice more? Just let me know. Okay? Sounds good. Wait, I can do more? Clem, thank you. For all of it. You're welcome, dude. This is what I like about Lewis. He's so mature. Which really makes me question why is Lewis a troubled youth again? He's the least trouble out of all these guys. I mean, I, I can understand Vi is very troublesome, but. You? Bro, first of all, you look like Static Shock. Second of all, I feel like you're not trouble at all. How are you a troubled youth? Oh god, I need to remind myself more that these guys are troubled youth. Um... Violet went to board up the hallway, didn't she? Yep. 
I would have done it later. I just wanted to do this first. It's okay. She needed something to keep herself busy. Well then, glad to help. Go ahead and practice if you want. It's all ready for you. Uh... Okay. How do I... Practice? I'm so confused. I wanna shoot again. It's not gonna let me? What? Need something? Not really. Just checking in. No big changes. I didn't become a master archer in your brief absence. I'm shocked. Okay, cool, cool. Oh! Okay, that's all the dialogue. I just really want to find out if I can shoot again. Oh, it's here! Ah! Okay, this is cool. Oh my god, am I, am I gonna fight with a bow and an arrow? The amount of times I kill the beast in Elden Ring just to grind for money. <laughs> yeah, the amount of times I do that is really showing off. Like right now. Ugh. Gross. Damn. All right, AJ. Do you think Sophie and Minnie might be with them when they get here? Uh, I don't know. Maybe. I'm doing watch, Clem, for danger. Like patrol? No, Clem. Lookout's totally different than patrol. How so? You don't walk. Oh, right. <laughs> AJ is very cute. He's learning. That's good. Ugh. Ugh. Yo! Okay. Very inviting. And to think that James wearing that fucking thing as a mask. That's so gross. Hey, what are you doing? Mm, test. Gotta see if the bomb will go off. This little thing won't kill anybody. Just gotta see if it'll light. Yeah, it better. Our whole plan rests on that little thing. If they get in, I'll need you to set the bomb off while I distract them. Expect the unexpected. Yeah, something like that. I, I read that on one of those stupid inspirational posters. <laughs> School used to have them everywhere. As soon as things went to shit, I tore them all down. Stupid shit. Uh, could you? Uh, my hands all fucked up from messing with it all day. Okay. Stand back. Oh god. Fucking shit. If it doesn't work. Fucking shit! I'm sure you'll get it. Keep trying. It's not like I got all the time in the world to play scientist and figure this shit out. I'll figure it out. I just need more time. Alone time to think. I get it. I'll leave you alone. Thanks, though. For helping. Oh! No, oh, no, I should have been two to one parts. Maybe well, with the double, it didn't. Uh, Mitch. Dirt would catch if the propane was soaked. In... Oh, no, no, stupid. Okay. Uh, very cool. I guess. Is anybody over here? On oh, a dog. What are you doing down there, Rosie? Come here, girl. Good girl. Oh, what did Marlon used to do? <laughs> oh. 
Oh my god, I was. I, oh, wow, holy shit, I was about to say. The dog even remembers that. That's crazy. I hope it's beautiful where you are, Brody. Spit on Marlin's grave? What? Hell no! Nah. The poor kid already have enough! Ah. Oh. Ms. Martin, thanks for protecting everyone. Ah, okay, that's cool. I was about to ask too, did Ruby make that? Nothing left we can use. Wonder if they ever tried to rebuild it after it burned down. Clem, I think not. I can't even approach it. What's the point, bruh? Alright. Back hallway secure. How is everyone? Okay, or, you know, a total fucking mess. They're ready for this. Really? Really, the school is defended, and everyone's eager to get the fight over with. Because you're boring and your idea is stupid. Oh, I'm being stupid? You're the one who can't think straight. If you could hear yourself... Guys, what the fuck? Violet told us to work on the traps together, but a sim won't listen to anything I say. That doesn't mean you have to scream at each other. Stay out of this. I have an idea for duffel bags filled with bricks. We drop them on the raiders if they get to the admin building. Willie here wants to use a giant, idiotic swinging log to take out one raider at most. It's completely stupid. You're stupid. You're being childish. I'm not. I'm trying to help. So help. I like the log. And stop arguing. The swinging log sounds like it could do real damage. Yeah, that's what I said. Sure, damage to like one person if it manages to hit anyone at all. I don't know why I'm surprised though. You know, I can't remember the last time Willie did anything useful for this school. You could barely handle guard duty. Oh. What the shit? Dude, you okay? Yeah, fine. Shit! Christ. We'll all kill each other before the raiders even get a fucking chance. All right, what we need is something to break the tension. Hey, buddy. How's it hanging? Dude. Fuck off. Sulking in the corner isn't gonna help us fight off the raiders. Or turn that frown upside down. You get more annoying every day. Regardless, I've come up with a plan to make everybody feel better. And that plan is a game. Come on, we gotta play. Okay, I'm coming. Oh, we haven't played a game in weeks since that night with Marlin. I mean... If you want to go ask Ruby to come play, I don't mind waiting. Shut up, dude! I swear to God. You've got a crush on Ruby? What do we plan? Truth or dare. You don't use cards in Truth or Dare. You do in this version. Everyone draws. Highest card gets to ask, lowest card has to answer. Okay, cool. <laughs> this should be good. Let's see. Truth. Marry, fuck, kill. Bye. Fine. Marry, flip, kill. Ruby, a sim, or James, that guy who saved you. Oh my god. You gotta answer. Them's the rules. Let's see. I would marry... Huh? Huh? What? <laughs> huh? What the? No! Oh! Uh, no! What? I don't like this game anymore. Uh, oh my god. Can I just answer all three of those with James, James, and James? Mary, flip, kill. Okay. So, I'm gonna, I guess I'm gonna have to kill a sim. Mary, uh... Flip, 
Uh, I don't know. This is a weird game. Uh, okay, Mary, flip, kill. I'm gonna marry James. James, he sounds mysterious. Funny, you pronounce horrifying differently than I do. Didn't you say he wore skin? Like, human skin? Whatever makes you happy, Clem. I would, um, flip. Flip, 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 flip. Flip, flip, flip. flip. Oh no, AJ. Ruby. <laughs> but, sorry. I was just imagining her glare while Clem propositions her. What? You sure that's a good idea? What's wrong with you? She picked. Ruby gets a flip. So that means you're killing... This is amazing. A sim! Oh, thank God. What? <laughs> You'd rather die than marry your flip Clem. I, uh, no. I didn't mean it like that. This is great. We're laughing, we're bonding. It's a nice break from thinking about homicidal assholes sneaking into our homes to kidnap us. Not if you bring it up. On to round two. I win. And poor Sim loses. Definitely a dare. Uh, okay. Do your worst. Oh no. Oh. <gasps> oh no, I'm so sorry. I gotta do it. I wanna see. You have to ask Ruby for a kiss. Seriously? The most legitimate of dares. Oh my god, he's actually doing it. Oh, he's gonna get slapped. <laughs> oh! <laughs> Damn. Oh, I can't breathe. <laughs> well, I think we all learned something about our good friend Asim today. Mainly that he has no romantic charm whatsoever. Shut up. Look sharp, y'all. It's time for round three. The the man had no had no riz and he has no bitch. I got it. We've been pretty hard on poor Sim here, teasing him about sweet Ruby. Seems only fair we mercilessly tease someone else about unrequited love. So, Clem. Anyone here you like-like? Oh, totally. Seriously? Like-like? What are you, six? Seven, thank you. Seriously? Putting me on the spot isn't cool. You did it to a Sim. It's okay, Clem. You don't have to answer. And blam! That's how a game dies. A Sim! You've got the high card. And the loser is... Tennessee. What's something you've never told anyone because you were afraid they'd make fun of you? You got this. I, um... I, I think... I think walkers won't always be around. They'll go away someday, cause the world goes in cycles, right? Ice Age, Stone Age, um, some other ages. So it's like that. This age will end, and another one will start. An age without walkers, like it used to be. It'll be better. You're very Why is wise. Why looking at me like that? Did I ruin the game? That's really beautiful. I never thought of it that way. What's wrong, AJ? I, I just don't know what it's like. All of you do, but I don't. I don't remember a time before monsters. You know what, little dude? It's okay that you don't. Believe me, the world before this one was pretty shitty. And that feels like a good place to call it. We should finish up our work anyway. It's getting dark. You're on lookout? Yep. Clementine's got it after me. Can I come? Of course you can, little guy. <laughs> hey. 
Hey. You, uh, need any help with that log? Um, yeah, it's pretty heavy. Let's go build the deadliest log ever conceived by man. Sorry I punched you. It's okay. It's a pretty good punch. I'm headed to the bell tower. I want to check out our defenses on the back wall before bed. Do you need help? Sure, if you want. You could always help me instead. I am on piano duty. What? I gotta get in some practice before one of you decides to chop it into firewood. I've got a project I want to try, but I need a second person. Oh, uh, yeah. Sorry, Lewis, but I'm gonna follow by. I like Vi much, much more. So, we're checking the walls? Yep, from up there. That's the best view. You ready for a climb? Oh, not good. It looks a little dangerous. <laughs> What's more dangerous than walkers? Or that death trap you called a car? Okay, fair. Come on, you're not chicken, right? <laughs> no. I'm not thinking about chicken nuggets. Do you remember those? Not really. I do. We always got them on Sundays. There was no time for Grandma to cook between church and Bible studies, so... Fast food. Damn. I'd give an eyeball for a chicken nugget right now. I didn't know you were religious. Well, were religious. Barbed wire, traps, weapons, it's everything we planned. You made it happen. We couldn't have done it without you. You've got lookout duty tonight, right? Yep, me and AJ. Do you have time to hang out first? Sure. No! Am I seeing what I'm seeing? Oh, wow. Beautiful. Sometimes I need the quiet just to get away for a while. Clem. Yeah? I know you came back for medicine. For AJ, but after that, you could have just left. Avoided all the bullshit with the raiders. Why didn't you? Sorry, I know that puts you on the spot. You don't have to <gasps> answer. We've all got our reasons. Why would I go anywhere else if you're here? I'm glad. Do you know any constellations? Nope. You? I learned some in school, but can't remember them. Let's make some up. Come over here. You can sit down at that floor with your dead. If I remember right, everyone's born under a special sign, right? It determines your personality. That's astrology, not astronomy. Whatever, let's just make up our own. Rules, signs, what it says about you. It's not like anyone remembers the old way. Okay, let's do it. There! See? It's a fish. Yeah, I do see it. 
Okay. Oh, that's not how you do fish. Oh, wait. Oh, yeah. Right. Now it needs a personality. Bright, pretty, good with other people, always moving, tons of energy. Sounds like anyone we know. The energy one is easy. Good with people, not so much. Hmm, that sounds just like me. Tons of energy? <laughs> really? You always sleep in late. I do not. You did one time, totally blew off your lookout shift. Hmm, still, it's me. Fine. Next. I spy with my eye a knife. See it? Mm, right there. Right above your head. Yeah, they're all above my head. Uh... What? How the fuck? Oh, wait. A wait, actually, I do see it now. This, this, this. Oh, God. Uh... Don't want to mess this up. This, this, uh, eh, eh. Awesome. Mm, this one's easy. Smart, clean, vicious, dependable. Someone you want with you in a fight. Doesn't take crap from anyone. Gets shit done. I don't know. You? Sounds just like you. Uh, I like that one. Yeah. Okay, one more time. I found a bird. Like a real bird? No, a star bird. Right there. Oh god, what the fuck? How the hell? Oh, okay, it shows you. Even though I don't see it, it still shows you. Oh, it is a bird! A bird is free. It could go anywhere it wanted to. Up and up and up and never come back. Go south, east, west, doesn't matter. You could fly straight into a sunset and see where it ends. It's all of us. Everyone here wishes they could fly away from all of this. Maybe we'll learn to fly together someday. Sorry, I didn't mean to just talk so much. It's just, I've watched people leave before. Family, friends, they never come back. But you did, and now I can't imagine what it would be like if you weren't here. Um... Shit. Oh no. It sounds much dumber when I say it out loud. <sighs> you know what I mean. Yes. Uh, I think... I mean, I hope we're more than friends. And I want... <gasps> oh my god! Do it! Holy shit. That's romantic. I mean, holy shit. Hell yes, and then holy fuck, and then. Clams, you out here? Shit sticks. Probably time for your lookout shift. Ready? Yeah. Oh my god. Please don't let anything bad happen to Vi. Oh no! <laughs> Something's bad gonna happen. The Raiders. That guy. He's gonna be with them. Abel. Yeah. Your bad dreams. They're all about him, aren't they? Yeah. Can I swear yet? 
I think it's time I can. If you do. Okay, but not the F word. Shit is the upper limit. Uh, that guy is a... F a, a shitbird. <laughs> it's not funny, Clem. Come on. I'd take a big shit on his head. Okay, that's enough. <laughs> Try thinking about something else. Count the monsters you see. Same number as before. Three, four... AJ, it's okay if Abel frightens you. You know how to control that. There's ten monsters out there. He doesn't frighten me. But when he comes here, I call dibs. I'm the one that kills him. Okay? Okay. Really? Yes, I can't promise you how things are gonna go. But if it's possible, you get first shot at him. Wow. What, you thought I'd say no? Yeah. I'm grown up now. No, you aren't. But I'm close. Clem, I see something. Not a walker? Here, you look too. Oh. Oh! What the fuck? Yep, definitely see them. <gasps> the horse! <gasps> the prophecy! That's not a walker. Good job, AJ. Come on, we have to tell the others. I mean, it's pretty goddamn obvious. Oh god, this is a long ass episode. They finally show up? Yeah. Stay safe, okay? We're ready. They've got at least four more people all carrying guns and carts, probably to carry people away. Oh no. Assholes. I can't believe they're really here. If they get inside, I'll keep them focused on me. That should give Willie and Mitch time to set up the bomb. I'll set it under those carts. It'll work. I promise. If they manage to get in, we fall back. To the admin building. Exactly. Right into our traps. The log's ready. I double-checked it. Triple, even. So, uh, any final words of wisdom? You've faced them in one, after all. Well, sort of. Lewis, shut it. Just try not to- ah, oh, shit. Shit. Oh, no. oh, shit! Fuck! Shit! Hide! Now! Omar! I got him! AJ, hide! Oh, fuck, 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 fuck. I, I know oh. No! Open up, kid! It doesn't have to get any uglier! My bow! Go! Go. I'll be alright. You don't have much time! Go! Shit. Oh my god. How the hell? How do y'all push that door? It's okay. Just try not to move or make noise. Fuck is all this? Focus. They're just scarecrows. Guess they took us seriously. Spread out. Don't get the chance. Where's our new recruits? They're not yours. 
Search the yard. If Clementine moves, shoot her. We'll find them, Clementine, and then we'll take them. And you. And your little boy. I don't think you want to kill me. Just like you didn't want to in the woods. Shut up! You can't fucking do it, can you? You've changed. I grew up. I can see that. God, you are just like him. We would have been heartbroken knowing he taught you all the wrong things. That the sweet little girl he protected turned out like this. You're right, Lily. I am just like him. And if he saw me now, he'd be proud of who I am. Why? Because you pick fights you can't win? Right. I'm sure that made all his sacrifices worth it. Get out! If you won't help me find the others, I'll find someone who will. We've recruited from this school before. Minnie wanted to come along tonight to tell you how well she's adjusted to her life, how happy she is. She said she had a girlfriend back here. Friends she missed, one guy who could always make her laugh no matter what. And her little brother. She missed him the most. Shit. Where are they? Let me take you to them. I can. I just want them back. Please. Don't listen to her, Ten. You know she's lying. She stole your sisters. She took them away from you. From their home. <laughs> I didn't want to shoot her. Jesus Christ. <gasps> what? God damn it. Mitch? Mitch! No! Kill who you have to. Take the rest. Yeah, no. Huh? What the? Huh? I clicked! Oh god, I don't want to see this again! Alright, aim this time. That guy's tough, Jesus Christ. <laughs> oh, y'all gonna love this. Oh shit. 
Hey Jay, jump over, jump over. Hey Jay, the door. Lock it. Oh jeez. Your friend Lily ain't around this time, so we'll have a nice little chat, you and me, alone. You ain't winning in this. Fucking bitch. Clem, I can't. Stay back. The oh, fuck. Mine. Oh shit. Whenever I see someone like you, weak, small, afraid, and still alive, well, let a lot of folks die to get you here. Fuck you. Oh. Dibs. Do it. Oh shit, I'm not like that. Jesus Christ. Oh. Oh. Holy crap, that's crazy! God damn it! Oh! Oh, so sorry. <laughs> oh, not good. Shit, this should be easy. You won't kill me. I know you won't. Why? We were like family once. He won't hurt family. Oh shit! <laughs> Lewis, watch out! Oh. Ah. <laughs> Fuck off! <laughs> Fuck off! <laughs> yeah! I'm sorry, I gotta say bye. <laughs> I'm so sorry. I'm sorry, Lewis. We cut our losses. Fall back. Pull in and fall back. Oh, fuck. I got Lewis. I also got Omar. Good, not good, not good. Shit. Dude. Oh my god, are you serious? Right now? Oh no 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 no. Wait. Bruh. Oh my god. This is actually harder than it looks. Shit, 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 shit. Shit, 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 shit. Where's the other one? Okay, there's two more. Bruh. Nice. Nice. Yo. Good job, Ten. Oh my god, there's more. Are you serious? Why does it have to be a bowl? I need this.
That was so badass. Ten. Good job, Rosie. You did good. Clem, I, I'm sorry for trusting her. <laughs> they took them. Sim and Omar and God damn it, Lewis. I know. We're going after them. If we knew where to look, I'd smash down their walls myself. But we don't. Well, we've got someone who does. Oh, no way. <sighs> wow, suffer the children. Wow, wow, what the fuck is such a such that is so dark that's such a dark title suffer the children good god uh you and 33 percent of players gave aj gun to lewis aj to keep the gun another player didn't intervene when aj insisted on keeping his gun two percent said nothing when aj insisted on giving his gun wow so these like are these are like very rare scenarios i don't know why we needed to give our guns to uh lewis i'm not really sure what that really does but i, I feel like it solidifies our relationship with lewis or something either way well lewis is gone now so fuck we're so fucked i didn't want vi to get taken away because Clem deserves to have a girlfriend, okay? Clem deserves to have someone she loves. And Vi has been with us since the beginning of the episode. You and 50% of players told Lewis and uh, Violet to run. Wow. Okay. Very unexpected. I thought... Mm, does this matter? Like, does this actually help? Does this, like, affect Lily's relationship with us in the future episode or something? I think this would. I'm just guessing, guys. I don't know. Oh, it's crazy. You and... Wow! 93% of players spared the walkers, honoring James' request. Okay. James is our best friend. That's what I'm guessing. That is insane. Everyone loves James. What the fuck? I'm guessing that this is the chance that everyone chose because... I don't know, maybe he's gonna be a, a very important character in the story. Like, he's in, he's, be, he's being introduced to us in a very odd way. Like, he's the first ever person outside of Clementine, outside of Lee, outside of season 3 characters who knows that they can just walk with the walkers. Outside of Jane, too. Who knows that we can just walk with the walkers who, who, can, who, who can blend in. With the walkers and stuff like that. I'm very surprised that a lot of people choose to honor James' requests. Very cool. You and 57% of players spend time stargazing with Violet. Oh, hell yeah, let's go! I'm in the majority, guys! Wow! You and 53% of players rescue Violet instead of Lubus. Wow! Well, at least I'm in the majority. Good to stay with her. Fuck. Oh my god. 
I don't want any of them to get, to, to, to get taken away. That was so stupid of the game just letting Omar get captured and get shot on, on the legs like that. Oh my god, those guys are definitely gonna die. There's no way Lily is gonna treat them well. There is like no chance. Okay, is that it? Uh, AJ gone. Yeah, that's just a recap. Ah, Abel captured. Okay, that's cool. Abel was aggravated when you warned Violet and Lewis to run in the forest. Abel was impressed when you taunted Lily with shooting you. Uh, why? <laughs> why? This guy's a fucking psychopath. Oh my god. You and nine, uh, fifty-nine percent of players left Tem feeling despondent. I have never seen that word before, but okay, despondent. I thought that is a uh, disappointing, <laughs> disappointing. <laughs> I don't know. Um, Tem felt embarrassed when you pointed out there are no more courtrooms. Okay, Tem felt hopeful after sharing his belief that the Walker. Uh, that a walker age will end someday. Yeah, that's very cool. I never thought of that ab about that at all. I thought like that's just their life now, and I didn't even think about the ages. Like there's eras and there's ages in the real world that actually happens, and the way ten things really helps me have a wider. Um, expectation and and, and um, I, he expand my horizon of the world. <laughs> That's very cool of him to think like that. I like it. Ah, you and sixty nine percent of players left AJ feeling repentant. That's good. He he's a kid. He needs to learn how to repent on his own mistake, and I think that's a very mature of. AJ to do. That's how you grow up. That's just how it is. AJ was soothed after sleeping in your bed. Aww, he. He was satisfied after you got. Uh, after he got dips on killing Abel. <laughs> oh, you left Violet feeling vengeful. Oh fuck. Wait, can I? Huh? So you're telling me that it's possible to not let her feel vengeful? Okay, this is a little bit odd for me. I don't get why I'm the one responsible for her being vengeful. What the fuck? Violet was relieved when you and AJ returned to the school. Violet was exhilarated when you confessed your feelings to her. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. I'm definitely in the Clem and Violet uh, uh, shipping right now. Let's go. Oh, shit. Wow. Wow, what? Oh, that's crazy. No, poor Static Shock, dude. You and 59% of players allowed Lewis to be kidnapped. Lewis was compassionate towards you after you said you missed him. Lewis felt discouraged when you choose to spend time with Violet instead of him. Lewis felt discarded when you let the Raiders take him. Oh, I'm so sorry, Lewis. Oh, no. I feel so bad. Lewis was a cool guy. I really like Lewis. I fucking love Lewis as a character in this game. He's so cool. Violet is also so cool. All of them are cool. Except for Mitch. Uh, I do feel bad that Mitch died for just for no fucking reason. Like, Lily did not have to do that. I really wanted to give Lily the chance that she... I don't know, she does not deserve. <laughs> I really wanted to give her the chance because I don't want to see how the story goes if you actually let her like forgive her and 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 again give her a chance give her the benefit of the doubt i really want to see what happens to the story if you do that to lily but at the same time personally i just don't fucking like lily in the slightest bit like what kind of woman just stab right at the throat of a goddamn teenager that's very concerning that's so weird and that's so disturbing yeah you're disturbing woman you're a very disturbing person. She really reminds me of David. Somehow, I don't know. Something about her just reminds me of David. We don't know this from the gameplay that I played, but I knew that she was a military woman. She is a part, quote unquote, a part of the military. She works pilot or something? Uh, and it's not on my channel. I kind of watch like multiple options that happen and on the first season I didn't really talk to Lily or Larry so I didn't get to know 
uh, her backstory, but she did indeed work for the military before, but still, don't like her, don't really care, maybe in a future episode, maybe she's gonna die or something, don't know. Uh, Lily was gratified that you remembered her. Lily was pleased when you accepted her help to stand. Okay, Mitch dead. Wow. Mitch was surprised when you admitted AJ was strong to kill Marlin. Well, of course. That's not very surprising. We don't have to be a piece of shit against a, a piece of shit. <laughs> Mitch was irritated when you decided to help Ruby bury the walker. Okay. I think in this situation, Mitch was, was a pretty fucking piece of shit. He's just an asshole. He's so unsentimental. That's the word. Even though he's an ass, I don't think he deserves to die like that. Jesus Christ. I guess that's just part of the Telltale story where you give the character like the worst type of personality and you really hate him and then he just dies afterwards. Like that's just it. You just hate him and he just dies. Like I feel like Mitch has no purpose in the story at all except for the bomb part. That's the only thing that he change the the path of the story like with without a bomb i think the path of the story would be different but that's the only thing that mitch is good at or the only purpose that he has in the game your only part was to do the bomb and then dies ah wow you and 30 percent of players left james feeling trusted so no one likes James? I'm confused now. A character like James is very complicated because a lot of people do not like the altruism nature of a person. James felt helpful when you let him feed AJ the apple. Oh, okay. James was attentive when you said you're originally from Georgia. Okay, why? I don't know. He's pretty cool. Overall, I think he's pretty badass. Uh, I mean, Beside the part where he wears the walker skin is pretty gross, but that's pretty badass. That's very metal. That's very Slipknot. <laughs> Aww. You and 90% of the player left Ruby feeling grateful. Yeah, she's cool. I don't understand why she's a troubled youth. That's what I don't get. Uh, Ruby was distraught when AJ took the responsibility for killing Marlon. Aww, okay. Ruby was consoled when you expressed sympathy over finding the school nurse. Oh wow, the state of the school. Omar as a sim was kidnapped. Rosie was loyal to you after you petted her in the courtyard. Aww. <gasps> Is Rosie my dog now? Oh hell yeah. Oh, I don't want this dog to die. This dog was so cool. Even though initially he was very scary, but it is so cool. Willie was thrilled you choose his lock trap to defend against the raider. So if we choose the brick trap, then a sim would be the one with us right now. Is that how it works? And also, I think this character is just a very, very stupid situation that happened. Clementine instead could have been shot. But no, it's Omar that's been shot. Well, fuck. <laughs> I don't know what else to do. You've collected three out of three items during the episode. Oh, hell yeah. Yeah, nice. All right. This is the end of the episode. I'm sorry that I talked so much. Even though I'm feeling so sick in this episode. Like in the most tense moments, usually I would be very loud, very obnoxious. <laughs> I would be very responsive to the events that's happening on the screen. But I'm just very tired. I'm, ga I'm having a headache. But I'm still gonna play the game though. I'm gonna take like a 10 minutes break. I'm gonna pee. I feel like I'm gonna pee my pants, guys. I've been holding it in this whole time. After this, I'm gonna record episode three. And then if I have enough time, I'm gonna record episode four. If not, I'm just gonna record it on a different day. But anyway, I'm gonna leave this video here for today. Thank you guys so much for watching. And if you're not an OnlyFan, subscribe. Okay, bye-bye.